What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Bitcoin with the ticker symbol BTC USD. Remember that if you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who have already subscribed and liked my videos. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see in the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So there's a couple reasons why I'm doing cryptocurrency. The first one is, is that I'm kind of bored with doing stocks. So this is just a change of pace. The second reason is I'm just testing out the waters to see how my subscribers like seeing different charts instead of just stocks because pretty much any market that has a chart bonds gold silver uranium whatever you name it um oil commodity whatever commodities um orange juice when everything has a chart and there's a price to it soybeans um i could do a technical analysis for it so it doesn't really have to be just stocks i mean this will always stay mainly a stock channel but i will probably change up the pace here and there and eventually i might just make a second channel just for cryptocurrency related and this one would be my stock channel but let's go and take a look at bitcoin so the funny thing is i pretty much knew the price would get below the forty thousand dollar level and i'm gonna show you guys why and I'm, i've discussed this probably a thousand times on my channel before but you can see that there was this channel working lower you can see that all the price bars were inside of it you can see even this massive sell-off back in december 4th the price action sold off all the way down to the forty thousand dollar level but then even closed inside of the channel you can see it closed all the buyers brought it up right inside the channel so that's not random that's very um systematic uh very technical and very mathematical like it just how did it come all the way back inside the channel and it could have closed anywhere over here uh, in the side the forty thousand dollar level but it came all the way back up into close inside the channel so then prices were slowly working outside of it and then there was a break outside the channel and like i say all the time when normally when we get a break outside the channel we usually go back to test the previous extreme so i wasn't even going to buy over here I, there was a high probability we were going to sell off to test the previous lows and you can see that it's exactly what we did so what are we going to do now so we tested the lows looks like there's signs of weakness for this downtrend and are we going to start reversing well yes and no so there's a possibility you might see a reversal you can see that there is previous support at this level i'm going to put a horizontal line there for you guys you can see that price action did bounce here previously back here in september so it looks like buyers do like this level and that's where they're probably buying some bitcoin but also it's a no because there could be a downtrend still in play like a, a bigger one you can see that if i connect the swings here this also fits pretty good let's go and make the previous one green and you can see that the price action is still inside of it so even if we do get a breakout of this channel we might even go lower uh possibly below the thirty nine thousand dollar thirty nine thousand dollar level so it's basically a yes and a no it's too early to call we are still below the ema uh most of the price bars are below the ema we are making lower lows lower highs so this is just a temporary bounce we got a bunch of bounces before you can see back here at the forty six thousand forty six thousand dollar level it was acting as good support but then price action broke it so whatever the market structure is and whatever the main pattern is before it was a downtrend it doesn't matter if there was any temporary bounces or not price action was going to continue lower with the bigger men bigger momentum and the bigger momentum was down so so this could be a yes and a no i think i'm leaning more towards no i am sure you guys more reasons why so the more reasons you have for your analysis the more confident you can be in it so like i said before i'm leaning more towards no because it looks like there's a bigger channel in play or you can call it a range you can see that the support is right at the right around that 33 uh, thirty thousand dollar level and if i drag this up all the way to the highs looks like the resistance level is at that $66,000 level. So you can see that all these price bars are fitting nicely inside of it. The midline, which is this dash line, is acting as both support and resistance. So this is a nice fitting range. So normally, previously before, price action could not pass this previous all-time high. It showed a lot of signs of weakness. We got a double top, and then we started selling off. You can see that price action made a lower high right back here. It basically went like this, lower than the previous high, and then... Pretty much everyone just gave up everyone knew to get out of their 
position all the traders knew or their stop losses we hit you can see that the massive sell off right after that so when we're in a range when we're at the highs of the range we normally work down to the lower side of the range so that's why i'm thinking we're going to continue lower and also there was a little break outside of the range you can see that uh, a few candle bars are outside of it it's not inside of this line at the sixty-six thousand dollar level so there's also another possibility we might get a breakout side on this side of the range because market is symmetrical so we might stop out everyone who has their stop losses here and we might come back to the starting point of this entire up move you can see that there was also two legs up for this up move this was the first leg up and then price action went down up and then down again so it went down twice which is two-legged correction as marks the center of the pattern if i drag the measure move up you can see that the target for six was at the sixty three thousand dollar level so that's where most of the traders got out of their positions and you can see all the short sellers have started coming coming in to pick up some top pick the top and there you go start selling off so we're gonna do the same thing again for the downside now so look at we went down then we went up down up so we went down we excuse me we went up twice so it marks the center of the pattern and if i drag this right w where the next move could be it looks like we're working towards the twenty five thousand dollar level so as of right now my target and i'm gonna call this before anyone else is at the twenty five thousand dollar level and that's where i think we're headed so this would probably be a place where i will pick up some bitcoin i used to have um about one and a half back in 2018 before this entire up move but i sold it pretty much at a loss um, i didn't know how to read the chart so i didn't know i was selling at the lows but now i know where to buy and where to sell and that just makes me a better investor so i'm just starting good back investing i was pretty much studying the charts most of the time but now i want to pick up some bitcoin i do like it long term and eventually it'll probably reach million dollars <laughs> But we'll see about that because the thing about Bitcoin is people have a high conviction for it. You, you, when people buy it, they don't want to depart with it. So the thing is, like, it's the price action is always most of the time probably going to just continue going up because most people don't want to sell. So people got to buy at higher prices. You can talk to any Bitcoin person; they just have a high conviction for it. So that's probably what's going to keep up prices, even if it goes to ten thousand dollars. I think people are still going to hold on to it. So that's just a just a strong conviction for this bitcoin so anyway uh just technically i think we're going to continue lower for the reasons i outlined but if anything else changes i give you guys an update if we break through this channel and we don't look back and we start an uptrend then i'm going to change my bias and think we're going to continue higher now it just we can forget about all this previous analysis but as right now it looks like we can continue lower to the twenty-five thousand dollar level so that's pretty much everything i have for the daily chart Let's go and wrap this up on the weekly chart. So here's the weekly chart for Bitcoin. And you can see that price action a hard time surpassing the previous high. So this looks just like a big double top reversal pattern. And that's what pretty much led prices lower. You can see that there is a measured move that potentially could be reached. You can see this would be the first leg up. And if we don't reach my $25,000 target, then where could be Bitcoin be going? It can reach the $90,000 level. So that's technically possible. And maybe one day it's going to reach it. As of right now, I think this market will continue lower. So let's just do that measure move again. I'm going to drag it up to here. And let's just say Bitcoin stops at the $25,000 level. If we do reach it, where could it be going? Pretty much the same spot, the $90,000 level. Because all this would be one move up instead of just here to back in april so still i think bitcoin's technically can be headed higher if we do reach that target so let's just look at one more thing you can see that if i connect the swings i don't really think this is a channel that bitcoin is respecting you can see that we didn't even reach uh the upper side so that's why i don't think it's in play and you can see that we're not really getting any re uh, rejection or bounces from the support side it looks like we just blasted right through it so that's why i don't think this channel is in play i think the major pattern that the price action is following and the traders are looking at is the range and it makes more sense because it looks like the price action is respecting that you see that the price action is inside of it and we're getting bounces from the lows and the highs so this is more what the market is looking at and playing so that's pretty much everything i have for bitcoin 
Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised at what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also, share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.